All right, hello, uh, YouTubers. Welcome to another episode of Moto Mecca Monday. My name is Alec, and you're not. I'm not. Well, I'm Ty. For one thing, you, you you look too cool to be me. I am. So I could never be that cool. So you know, we have a few choices uh, for what to do in our video today. We could uh, sit inside the shop and flap our jaw and I don't know, review some gear or pontificate on life and how to live it, or well, it's awful pretty outside time. Maybe there's a better idea. I think we've done that enough. We have done that enough. So what do you think we should do instead? I think we need to get out of here. I think we need to shut up and get on some motorcycles and go see some of this beautiful Pacific Northwest. Let's get the heck out of here. I had to put the freaking glasses on. Of course you did. Hello, Moto Mecca members. Welcome to another episode of Moto Mecca. Monday. And uh, we have had such tremendous response to our videos. So many people liking and following that we've been able to afford, well, what might possibly be the world's most expensive and elaborate green screen. So what does everybody think? Nice. Looks, looks pretty real. This cost us literally tens of dollars to get here today huge investment. So Ty, is this, is this a green screen? Negative. It is not a green screen. So I don't, I don't think we fooled. Maybe some of our much younger viewers were fooled by that. But uh, yeah, we are uh, on location. And uh, where are we on location, Ty? This is Mount St. Helens. So many of you may be familiar with uh, an unfortunate event that happened about 40 years ago that, that befell our uh, uh, beautiful mountain behind us. And Ty, what unfortunate thing happened to this mountain? Well, I think there was a half off sale. There was a half off sale and it was a sudden and unannounced 50% off sale. And uh, that happened in the course of just a few minutes that 50% of this mountain came off. So May 18th, 1980, I believe was the date. It had rumbled a bit before. So there was a little bit of a warning and then all of a sudden, boom, a sideways explosion. And you end up with what you see behind us. Uh, Ty, this mountain shrunk a little bit in the process. I think it was on Ash Wednesday. It was on Ash Wednesday when it happened. <laughs> some of our geology viewers might be watching. Like, no, that was not. We just lost some subscribers. Was not, this was not Ash Wednesday. <laughs> They're going to fact check us. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what day of the week it was, but uh, it was quite a doozy, I'm sure. Some of you might be able to uh, make out some of the detail behind us. The lahar that came off of the, of the mountain, all of that melted ice, you know, it went from ice to water in a very short period of time. Billions of gallons of water came off the side of the mountain and uh, took all the boulders and the trees, everything that was in its path, got completely eradicated. Uh, it's been right at about 40 years since that happened and uh, Ty, it still looks a little bit like the surface of a foreign planet down there, wouldn't you say? Yeah, kind of like the moon, though I yeah. haven't ridden there yet. Well, not yet. Um, I hear it's a nice view, but it just lacks atmosphere. It does. Yeah. So, uh, Ty, talk a little bit about the trip out here today. So we rode our bikes out here, our second mountain trip in two days. Yesterday was Rainier, today St. Helens. Uh, would you suggest folks uh, with two wheels take a, take a trip out here? Absolutely. Yeah. The uh, pavement on the way up here is in really good condition. It's nice and curvy, not a lot of traffic like we said. It's really something that you want to put on your destination. Yeah, it's about, uh, if you're coming from the greater Seattle area, maybe three hours to get down here from the Olympia area where we started. Uh, it was a little bit over two hours. Uh, last bit of civilization you're going to run to is Toledo, Washington. So that's a great place to stock up on drinks, take a break, get a coffee, fill up your gas, fill up all your tanks, uh, fill up tanks or empty tanks and then make your way out to uh, St. Helens. Beautiful pavement, some of the nicest pavement you'll find in Washington State. How was the traffic? Traffic was fabulous. It was mostly just us. Because it was just us. Sunny, altitude, it's mid-July, we're in the low 70s. Pack sunscreen though. Yes, yeah. you're gonna get burnt up here. You're gonna get cooked, so wear a hat, bring some sunscreen, it's deceptively cool, you will cook yourself. 
Um, the visitor center is closed, but the gift shop is open. And there is an espresso trailer that has some snacks and drinks, which is really nice. So you can get a refreshment uh, while you're up here. Plenty of parking. Just a beautiful place to spend a few hours. Really quiet. Just a really nice place to connect with nature and a wonderful motorcycle destination. Now, Ty, certainly the places where we go to ride, it's a lot of it is about the ride, but a lot of it is about the destination. And so in the summer in the Pacific Northwest, this is a terrible time of year to leave the Pac Northwest because the weather is so nice. This is what we've been waiting for this all is winter. What, yeah, we do have the rain, right? Some of the vloggers out there write about what weather is like in the Pac Northwest in January and February, but then come summertime, when some of us are being eaten up by mosquitoes mm -hmm. and getting steamed like a baked potato, we are in beautiful, dry, cool weather and sunshine that lasts, about how many hours could you expect to get sunshine this time of year up here, Ty? Oh, about 14 hours. About 14 hours, sometimes closer to 16 in the very middle part of, uh, middle part of the year when the days are really long. So you can get up early, put hundreds of miles on the bike and go see all kinds of places. Um, Ty, maybe reason you think maybe it's not so busy up here. Rainier was really busy, not so much here. Why do you think that is? Well, Rainier's kind of a drive-through. This would be more of a destination. So there are many roads that lead to Rainier in and out, whereas this is a dead end. Basically, yeah. if this is what you're coming to, then this is what you, this is all you're going to get to. And unless you have, uh, unless you're hiking or you have a helicopter, this is really about as close as you're going to get with a vehicle. Uh, to seeing the mountain for reasons of safety uh, and the fact that the land looks the way that it does. Uh, a zoom lens from this viewpoint at, at the Johnston Observatory is as is, is close as that you're going to get. But uh, it's beautiful, it is impressive, and if you were in the Pacific Northwest Seattle area, a fantastic ride and a terrific destination. All right, thank you everybody for watching. This has been a, another edition of Moto Mecca Monday. I'm Ty. And I'm not. We look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs> That'll do. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. My name is Ty. I thought my name was Ty. <laughs>